people are angry and confused and scared about health care these days. Governor Kane, does the Republican attempt at reform, which the president now says will happen at the beginning of next year, how real is that? The only way we're going to get it right is by looking at the big picture, trying to resolve a system which really helps everybody and costs the same or the average of what the costs are on the rest of the world instead of costing 30 percent more. Until we get into those kind of issues and do it better, uh, I don't think we're going to have a decent health care system that can get through both parties in the United States Congress. Does it take a balance for people in Washington to come together on, on this issue to have a more cost-effective, best system of health care, Governor Florio? Well, it takes a balance, but the question is the interests that are not, not willing to cooperate. I mean, it's, it's a zero-sum situation in some people's minds. If someone's doing well, somebody else has to do badly. That's not a particularly enlightened way of thinking about things. Do you think people should be able to opt out of health care if, if they so choose? Or, Governor Kane, is there a role for government to step in and convince people of what may be the best choice for them? Well, you can do all that. I think, you know, uh, ideally, yes, people ought to be able to determine as much as possible what kind of health care they want and they need. You've got huge, expensive lobbying groups, and they all start arguing about their own interests. So somebody's got to step back and say, look, what are the best systems in the world? How do they work? Why are they so much less expensive than ours? Are those health care actually taking care of their citizens? Are people getting the average person, not rich folks or poor folks, but the average person getting decent health care out of our system? And if not, why not? And what improvements can we make based on the best in other parts of the world? I mean, insurance presupposes you have everybody involved in the pool. Insurance is about sharing the risk. It's not about avoiding the risk. And we have a system of insurance now that unless you have everyone participating, you're going to have people who are sick, need the insurance, the system will break down. because You have to have other contributors who are not going to be sick. Everyone ultimately perhaps will get sick, some are sooner, some later. But the concept of health insurance presupposes universal care. If the Republican reform effort were to happen, it likely would mean tremendous cuts in, in Medicaid funding. New Jersey would be affected. How so, Governor? What would be the impact here? We upped it in because we cared about our people. And we thought that health care should be expended to those who couldn't afford it. That's the right thing to do. We should be praised for that, not penalized. Actually, you're going to pay one way or the other. I mean, if people, poor people don't get insurance, don't get coverage, uncompensated care monies have to flow to the hospitals make up for the service that they're providing and not being compensated. If federal funds were to be cut back in favor of block grants to states, how would that impact New Jersey? Is, is that a good idea, governors? I always think block grants are a good idea, as long as they're adequate, as long as they're not too small. But we got some block grants when I was governor. What we find out, found out is that we could do some of the same programs the feds did for 70 or 80 percent of the cost. So we saved 20 percent. Now, the federal government says, oh, we'll give you 20 percent less. Well, that's, that's all right, because uh, we can do them better. So I'm, you know, if we can figure out a block grant system that works, I'm all in favor of it, because it'll be less expensive, closer to the people, and I think we can do it better than the feds can. New Jersey gets billions of dollars from the federal government under Medicaid now for half a million people who are now insured as a result of the Affordable Care Act. Block grant's a good idea? The block grant concept is adequate and acceptable if you have minimum standards. What they're talking about now is giving people discretion at the state level to get rid of maternal care, get rid of uh, drug treatments and so on. Doing that, getting a block grant which doesn't, doesn't fund an adequate system for everyone to not fall below would not work. How do you see the future in terms of health care reform? I'm very discouraged because I don't see anybody looking at the big picture. I don't think anybody is looking at the cost looking at what other countries do, looking at ways we could make the whole system better, and look at what we do. I mean, we spend so much of our money on end-of-care life. You know, that's not what we should be spending most of our money. People should be allowed to die in dignity, but 20 percent or 30 percent of our health care spending shouldn't be going for those last week of two weeks of life. I don't want that myself, and I don't want that for my family, and I don't think American people want it. What's ahead, Governor Florio? I suspect we can make the system much more efficient, much more effective. And I think probably incrementally 
we'll see, for example, Medicare start to be shifted down. So at 55, you'll qualify rather than 65. And then ultimately, you keep moving in a direction as the system becomes better, becomes more efficient. Ultimately, you'll cover everyone. Certainly, this is an issue that concerns all of us. Governor Kane and Governor Florio, thank you very much for sharing your opinions.